This problem um, is about sequences. This is problem number 15 from your review of the AZ Merit. And uh, let me read the problem. The, what we're doing here is several terms of um, for two arithmetic sequences A, N, and B, N are shown in this table. A third sequence C, N has the characteristics given. Uh, the sequence C, N is arithmetic as well. The first term of C, N is between A1 and B1. You know, it's, uh, in other words, it's, it's greater than A1, the first term of A, N, and is less than the first term of B, N. The common difference of CN is double the common difference of BN. What is the value of C6? So, what do we need to find a um, nth value of a um, arithmetic sequence? Well, we have formula for that. We learn it in class. So, what we're actually um, trying to do here is we need to find the formula for, this is problem number 15, uh, we actually the problem here is finding C6 and that's going to be given us if we have the first term of CN plus um, N minus 1 oops, sorry, N minus 1 times D well we don't know the first term of CN we, uh, we know this is going to be 6, so we have C6 equals to C1 plus 6 minus 1 will be 5, 5D. Once I know how much C1 is and how much the difference of, um, of uh, D for C and N, the difference is, right? Once we know this value and this one, we find C6. Okay, so if they, if they're giving us the, the uh, sequences um in the table but i'm gonna put them as um as a normally we normally do in class that's gonna be easier for us to remember everything we have done so uh let's see we have a1 we don't we just have a6 right here this is gonna be a6 which is given us 32 36, 40, 44, and 48. And continue, right? But we have these values, and this one we know is C, uh, A6. Then we also have Bs. We don't know B1. B2, we don't know all this. The first one we know is B6, is given, and that's going to be 30, 32, sorry, 33, 36, uh, 39, and 42. These are the ones that are given. Okay? We are looking for C, but the, we know the C is right here in the middle. C1, um, we don't know how much that is, and we're going to find out. We know that what happens is that A1 is less than C1 and is less than B1. How much is A1 and B1? That's going to help me because if I know how much is this one and how much is this one, I can find out the possibility of what is it is or how, what values C can be, right? So in order to find A1, we're going to use the same formula here for C6, for A6, change colors so this sometimes that helps uh, a6 using the for formula a6 is equals to um, a1 that's what we're looking for plus 6 minus 1 times the difference and the difference of these two we can find them because this is 36 minus 32 is 4 and then this is 40 minus 36 is 4 so this is 4 so that's going to be A1 plus 5 times 4 is 20. And A6 is 32. So you subtract 20 in both parts. And we right away have A1 is 12. 
Okay, so this value is 12. So let's use the same formula to find B6. So B6 is going to be B1 plus 6 minus 1 times, in this case the difference, you notice it, is 3. So times 3. So B6, which is 30, is B1 that we're looking for, plus 5 times 3, 15. Subtract 15 in both parts, and we know that B1 is 15. So this is B1 is 15. So what are the values that are in between 12 and 15? So we, this is um, 13 or 14. So C1 can be C1 can be either 13 or 14. So remember, we are looking for C6, right? So in order to find C6, remember we had this formula right here. So well, let's, let's see. Well, if A, if C1 is 13, because we have two different answers here. If C1 is equal to 13, then C6 is going to be equals to what? Let's see. Um, C6 will be C1 plus 5 times the difference, which is oh, the difference D right here. I'm using D. And it's part of the information given in the problem. This is 2 times the difference. Um, let me find that. It's 2 times the difference of Mm, bn right so this is two times the difference of bn that we know is three so d is six so that's going to be five times six five times six so cc is it c6 is going to be 33 i mean 13 plus 30 43 that's one value. And in case it's 14, there will be 44, right? You have just one more, 14. So then it's going to be, um, if, out of here, if C1 is 14, then C6 is going to be um, 44. Those are the two possible answers in this problem.